Hi and welcome to another Evernote tutorial. My name is Maurice and I run a blog called latentlifestyle.com. Today's tutorial is about installing Evernote on a Mac and we're looking at an OS X El Capitan and we're also going to look at installing Evernote on a Windows 10 uh, PC. All right. Very, very simple to install Evernote onto your uh, computers. And once it's installed, it makes uh, using and accessing your notes far quicker as well. So let's go to it. We're going to start with a Mac first. So if you're looking for the Windows uh, 10 version, you probably have to scroll about halfway through the video to find that. Uh, let's just start with uh, the Mac first. So what we're going to do is we're literally going to go down to our App Store. We're going to open up the App Store. And where it says search in the top corner, we're going to just write Evernote. All right. Now, it's going to go away and search for us. You'll see over here, the very first one says Evernote. And when it comes up, we've got our nice little wee green elephant head that we're going to then use. All right. So this is our app that we're going to install. Evernote is all ready to go. All you have to do is just click Install. All right, once it's installed, we saw the little wee bounce go, which means in our launch pad that we have Evernote, and you can see there's a nice blue dot next to it saying that it's new. Also, GarageBand is new for me. All the other ones I've opened before. So Evernote is new for us here. If I go back to the desktop, we'll also see that it, this has changed from install to installing and then to open. So we can even open it directly from here. I'm not going to open it from here. I'm going to open it from my launch pad. So let me just close this window down. I no longer need the App Store. I'm going to go to my launch pad. I'm going to click Evernote. Now Evernote comes up with a nice little tutorial. So if you wanted to walk uh, through what you can do with Evernote, you're more than welcome to. What we're interested in is this side. We're going to obviously sign in. And first of all, we're going to sign in with our uh, username and password. So I've already started getting half of this. All right, once we put our username and password in, we're going to click sign in. All right, you can see there's a blue spinning circle up here. This is what's downloading all our notes from the internet right now. Uh, those notes that we've created in the earlier tutorials are actually online on the web version. These are gonna be downloaded right here and you can see those have been created already for us to, to view. So very fast. Now obviously if you've already been putting a lot of pictures on or you've been putting sound files on, then this might take a little bit longer to sync. But the main idea here is that this is going around and around and around. It's letting you know something's going on. There's a couple of things I put in uh, that I wanted to discuss with you. First of all is using the location, and the second one is welcoming uh, to the Evernote, the suggestions on the left. Over here you can see these suggestions. They want you to work through how each one of these works. So we're going to do that very, very quickly, and you'll see if we create a note, we're going to get a line through this one. Notes are created up here where it says new note and stuff. All right. And you see already there's a line going through it. Now my new note has appeared at the bottom. It's also appeared over here. So this is a new note. Just to check the sync function works. All right. I wanted to really do this so you could see that there's an arrow in the corner of my note at the moment. And this arrow is saying that it's waiting to be uploaded into the cloud. It's waiting to sync. If I move my mouse and go over to the two arrows at the top here and click this, you can see that it begins to go around. My blue arrow that was above my new note is gone, which means it's now up into the cloud and it's now synced across all these different versions. So if I was to go now onto the web, I would see this note immediately there. All right, we'll talk about reminders in a different tutorial, installing the web clipper in a different tutorial, and searching your notes. We've already talked about searching your notes. But just to do that, we're going to search a note to see what we've got. So I'm going to search for the word video. As I search for video, it's going to look for anything that has video, and you can see nothing in my notes has video. If I want to change it again, I want to change it to to do. All of a sudden, I've got two notes which come up. This one has got to do as a tag. 
this one over here has got do uh, as part of a word within the note. That's how good the search function is within Evernote, and that's really its selling feature. It searches very well. So there's only two other things for us to, to get uh, set on, and that's our reminders and our web clipper. You probably have noticed there's a little wee box at the top here. You can customize the way you want to look this and look at this. And once I push this X, this box is going to go. So the set reminders and the install web clipper are going to go. So let's just click that now and it's going to disappear. All right, now we've got our notes and they're in little wee boxes at the moment. And we've also got it sorted by relevance. Well, I don't particularly like the box. I think it takes up too much. And I don't really like the expanded card view, which means it goes all the way across. Let me just close the search up here, because that's why it's only showing me two nodes. It looks very large and looks a little bit too cumbersome for me. Uh, so I'm going to go rather to have a look at the snippet view. And this is a view I normally have, where I have all the, uh, the, the headings and I have the words underneath, giving me a very brief explanation about what that note is. And then I can quickly find what I'm looking for, quite, uh, quite brief. Um, you can change it again, obviously, there's, uh, there's a side uh, list view. This one is also very useful because you can work it out by date and you can order it very quickly. And our last one is our top view. I find this one a bit crowded because your notes are at the top. All these bars are all uh, movable as well, so if you wanted to actually see what tags you put into something um, when, it, when something was updated or what the full title of the note is, you can move these as and how you want. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the view that I prefer, which is our snippet view. Gives us a nice little wee explanation about what's going on. All right. I can move this bar here too, make it a little bit smaller, so it doesn't take up so much of the screen. I've got more space for my note to actually see what's going on. Um, on the left here, we've got shortcuts. That's another thing I want to talk about at some stage. We're not going to talk about it tonight. Um, and we're going to put this on the remember to discuss list so that we have them all. So I've literally just chosen my next my note, which I had before. The little blue arrow says, oh, something's going on. I will have to update this later on. So what I want to do is I want to talk about shortcuts. Um, and I also wanted to talk about reminders. Talk um, about Web Clipper. And we'll tick those off as we go. All right. Over here are my notebooks. Remember, we made some notebooks in previous tutorials. They're all available for me to see. My tags are all here. They're all ready for me to use, and I can go and find exactly the note which has that particular tag at the top. And it just takes me back to, to notes. Work chat, it says that I can actually start talking with other colleagues, get uh, feedback, and actually uh, work together on the notes that I'm making. You'll see that actually on the note that I was making earlier on, that there are some buttons at the top here, and one of those is called share. They're exactly the same. I can also share those notes with the public, or I can share them with somebody in uh, specific. A quick run down of these icons at the top. That's my reminder. I'll talk to you in another tutorial. That's presentation mode. Again, something else to talk about. This is to annotate. Again, something else to talk about. Uh, information, and then the delete, uh, delete the note box. None of your notes are actually completely deleted until you go into the deleted uh, notebook file and you can delete them straight from there. Otherwise, they're just kept as, as um, reminders. Let me just talk here, uh, something else I want to also talk to about talk. We've still got that blue arrow. I'm just gonna do this one more time. If I go and click sync, that blue arrow you'll see disappears. That means that it's now checked with everything up in the cloud. Everything I have is the same as what everything is in the cloud and vice versa. Now, this is automatic. I'm only doing this just to make it so you can see that if you were to start making notes and carry on, it will automatically sync between the cloud and your computer as you go on. All right, if I minimize this, it's gonna come right down to the bottom bar here. And because I use Evernote quite a bit, I'm going to right click on it and it's got options over here. I want to actually keep this in my dock because I don't want to have to keep on going to my launch pad. And I'm going to move it across because it's actually one of my uh, most used, applica um, most used uh, applications. So there's Evernote to obviously open it again, straight open. So that's as easy as it is to install onto a MacBook. Uh, so that's OS X or OS X10, uh, 10, and that's El Capitan. All right, let's go and have a look at the Windows 10 install.
Windows uh, 10 computer if you haven't upgraded yet to the latest Windows 10 I definitely recommend that you do that all right uh, just to show you that it is Windows 10 I'll give you a quick look over here all right uh, what we're going to use obviously it's Windows so we're going to try and use uh, Microsoft Edge which is uh, the old Internet Explorer but apparently it's brand new for us uh, in case you're wondering if you wanted to use the app uh, store within um, Windows uh, in fact I'll show you that first of all so let me just move this uh, out the way if I go to the App Store and uh, see what they've got and if I was to type up here Evernote you'll see what comes up is actually Evernote Touch now we can install Evernote Touch but it doesn't really work if you've got a PC and you don't have a touch screen so downloading it becomes a little bit pointless uh, you have to go and get the download from uh, Evernote, uh, the Evernote website itself. All right, so that's why I'm not doing it through the store. So we're back on uh, Bing. Let's go and type in Evernote. Now, Evernote should come up as number one, which it does. We're also going to make sure that it says Evernote uh, Evernote.com here. You'll see it looks slightly different to the uh, to the OS X version on Safari and that the email password has been moved across uh, there's a different guy sitting here and also even from the top you can see that it's got sign up sign in and more importantly what we want is the download so we're just going to be clicking the download here at the bottom you can actually see that it's beginning to download so we'll just speed this up quickly All right, now it's quite simple to get this to run. All you need to do is just click the run box. And once it starts to run, it'll go through the normal process of installing the application on your Windows 10 computer. Got uh, the version. I no longer need the screen unless you're actually following the instructions behind. It's exactly the same as what we found on the Mac OS X on Safari. All right, you see up there that begin to to sync, and uh, it's got here is the new note. That's the one I typed in earlier, and if we go up to the very top, here are some of the ideas that I was talking about that I wanted to discuss in later tutorials, um, and they've already been synced all the way from the cloud back down again. Slightly different layout to the uh, Mac version in the app. There you can see that it's got. Uh, the new note but it's also got uh, activity it's got sync it's got uh, with the user that's logged in work chat seems to be at the top mastering Evernote those steps which I've already minimized has now appeared at the bottom um, and they've got uh, two more to go with that was installing um, Evernote a web clipper and also talking about reminders but we're not going to do that right this minute uh, again your shortcuts we're not going to talk about shortcuts that's another tutorial here are all our notes. You can see the different views that I've got here as well. Now, you probably just noticed there that there's uh, a lot less options um, on uh, Windows as there is on Evernote uh, for Mac. They give you a little bit more style on the, uh, the Mac, but nothing that's major. And like I said, I like the snippet view, so um, that's the one I normally have a look at. I don't like it quite so wide though. I don't need to have it. I wrote the notes, so I know what I've got. Move it all, all customizable. Same for actually maximizing and minimizing the screen. Again, if you want to share, very simple just to share straight from here. So if I wanted to share this with somebody else, I could just email their name straight in and away it would go. Uh, I can even add a message. It goes straight to their inbox, so you'll actually see it there. Sharing is a little bit more uh, detailed for later on. All right, um, we can change the sharing. When I'm editing the notes, we get this nice wee bar comes up, which allows us to uh, put in different kinds of text, highlight things, uh, make the text bold or uh, normal editing uh, layouts. Down the side, attaching and also the microphone. Well, that is really not for this particular discussion. I just want to highlight again, there's little wee blue arrows turned up here because I started editing it and I made this one bold. That's because it's now waiting for a sync to happen before it uh, goes up to the cloud um, and syncs with uh, the notes which I have already up on the Evernote web servers. All right, 
So this won't appear until I have a sync and I can force that sync. I can actually click on that button and make it happen. And that means it will go up or in a few minutes time, it'll actually do it automatically. But I'm going to click it, see the two blue arrows going around and the arrow's gone. That means it's checked all my notes that I have uh, to make sure that they're all the same with what they have up on the cloud and the ones which have changed, it goes and changes. If I go back to the Mac now, we should see that change where this has now become bold. And that's as simple as it is to install on a Windows 10 computer. All right, welcome back. This is back to my uh, Mac uh, computer. And so we're having a look now at what's happened with that note. Uh, I bolded it and there's nothing here. You can see it's not bolded yet. We've not had a sync, so it means that nothing's actually happened yet. But if I go up and push the sync button, watch. All of a sudden this turns bold, and that's because it's checked all my notes against the ones up on the server. It found that there was a change to this one, and it's automatically changed it. And that's pretty much Evernote installed on Mac OS X, El Capitan, and uh, a Windows 10 computer. So check back soon for more tutorials. This has been uh, Maurice from LatenLifestyle.com, and I wish you a grand day. Cheers. And I went riding out one day There was something that she 